Okay, I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure what I did here, but this thing is back to normal. Um, I, uh, you can see over here, see this little inlet there? All I really did is mess around with there. I just took, uh, I just took one of these cans of compressed air. I was too lazy to get out my compressor, and I just gave it a spritz, um, which I don't think that did very much. I also did spritz up there, which is a little weird because you're not supposed to, um, you're not really supposed to tip these cans upside down when you spray. Um, by the way, I did all of this without the, the flame being on, of course. Um, the other thing is, I, uh, they said use a wire, so I used this uh, paper clip and, uh, and I just went up inside there and poked around. And that might have done something. That seems to me to be the most... I, I didn't, didn't seem like I did much, but I went up there and poked. Maybe there was like a spider's web in there or something, and I just kind of poked around up there with uh, this paper clip. I think that fixed it. Then, the other thing I did, and again, I don't think this did very much, is I sprayed the compressed air um, directly all around the screen, just in case the screen was uh, clogged up or something. I don't think that did much. I think ultimately it was a very easy fix, and I think it was all based on just uh, just shoving uh, this paper clip up there as far as it could go and sticking it up and down. I think that's what did it. But look, it's working perfectly now, and it certainly wasn't before. Hope this helps you.